Hello and welcome to another Nick A video. With the new update introducing School of Lock, some people seem to have missed these other updates and optimizations. I am not going to list every single one since not all of them are important, such as costume name changes, skill descriptions being clarified, or skills not displaying correctly during PvP. I'll be reading the ones I feel should have had more attention. Please leave a like and a sub and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, number three here, it says fix an issue where the basic attacks of rocket launchers cannot deal damage to the rapture shields. Yeah, I had actually noticed this, but I was more focused on using the explosive radius of the rocket launchers to get around the shield. So I guess it'll be working as intended now. And now going to number six here, it says fix an issue where specific actions can be performed to relieve Nikkei's from the stunned state in battles. Yep, they finally patched this one out. In case you didn't know, when you were stunned with either being captured by the rapture or hit by a stun bullet, you were able to still perform actions if you just selected the stun Nikkei and went in and out of cover really fast. All skills and bursts worked as normal too. Now those stun stages will be even more annoying now. Now we're going to go to number 8 here. It says fix an issue where some monsters are not included in the targeting order when skills are used during auto battle. I had originally thought this meant they had fixed us not being able to auto the annoying silence enemies in the game, but I went and tested it myself and nope, still not able to auto target these menace to the game. I even tried it with Summer Anissa's last shot skill to the same result. So not sure exactly what enemies it's referring to, if anyone knows, please leave it in the comments. Now to number 10 here. It says, following the September 21st update, the regrouping cycle of Rookie Arena and SP Arena will be extended from two weeks to three months. The next regrouping of Rookie Arena will occur at the end of December, while the next regrouping of SP Arena will occur at the beginning of July. The season duration, rules, and rewards remain the same. This could be good or bad depending on if you have a ton of whales in your regrouping cycle. Either way, you'll be stuck with them for 3 months now, so make sure you get nice and comfy. Heading to number 17, it says added a function that enables the union leader's authority to be transferred to the sub leader or any player when the union leader hasn't logged in for a specific duration. They finally added this much needed feature. So now another active person can take over as a leader and still keep the union rank intact and salvage what is left. Seeing how you need to be level 3 or higher to even participate in union raid. So have no fear about having to look for another union when it comes close to raiding time. And I am not sure on the exact way to claim ownership. I tried to do it on my current union but did not see any option presented anywhere. Maybe it only shows up when the conditions are met? Any of you in a dead union, please let me know in the comments. Alright, that is about it. There was a lot of minor issues fixed during this round of optimizations, and you can read more about them by clicking the bell and looking through the list. If you really want me to read everything line by line, I am able to, but I feel that would be very boring. <laughs> well, hope you enjoy the video. I'm Scrublord, and I'll see you next time.